Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about the structure and function of microtubules. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So microtubules extend throughout the cell, and they provide proper shape and keep the organelles in place. And they are the largest structures in the cytoplasm and they are absent in bacteria. So microtubules are only present in eukaryotic cells, not in prokaryotic cells. Let's talk about the structure of microtubule. So microtubules are long, unbranched and hollow in structure. They are 24 nanometer thick. They are made up of subunits called tubulin. So tubulin are proteins and each tubulin is a heterodimer. It is made up of an alpha and a beta tubulin attached to each other. So this is the tubulin heterodimer. It contains two monomers, alpha tubulin and beta tubulin. Okay. Now, tubulin dimers link head to tail to form long strand called protofilament. So, this is the protofilament. These dimers link here from head to tail to form this protofilament. Now, 13 such protofilaments are arranged parallelly around a hollow core to form microtubule. So, 13 such protofilaments will accumulate around a hollow core to form this microtubule but here you cannot find 13 protofilaments in my image since this is not a 3D structure. So what is plus end and what is minus end? I will discuss about it in a couple of minutes. Now microtubules undergo assembly or polymerization and disassembly or depolymerization depending on the need of the cell and this is reversible event that means they can be assembled or they can be disassembled both will happen depends on the need of the cell their polymerization is regulated by certain maps maps are microtubule associated proteins so these maps will regulate how they will assemble. The two ends of a microtubule are the plus end and minus end. The plus end is the end of the microtubule that grows more rapidly and it is exposed to beta tubulin. So here you can see this is the plus end and here you will get only beta tubulin, white color, beta tubulin. So this is the fast growing end. The minus end is the end of the microtubule that grows more slowly. It is exposed to alpha tubulin. So this is the minus end. Here we will get only alpha tubulin. And this is the slow growing end. There is the presence of the MTOCs, MTOCs are actually microtubule organizing centers. They are primarily present in the centrosome. So these MTOCs bind the minus end tightly. The assembly or the polymerization begins from these MTOCs. Such an assembly involves the hydrolysis of GTP to GDP. So polymerization requires GTP hydrolysis. Near the cell margins or near the periphery of the cell, you can say, there is the termination of the plus ends. So minus ends will be there in MTOCs. That means they will be there near the centrosome and the plus ends will be there in the margin of the cell. That is in the periphery of the cell. Let's talk about the functions of microtubules. So microtubules help in cellular movement. They help the cells to move. In fact, cilia and flagella are structures which are made up of microtubules only. 
Microtubules aid the movement of organelles inside the cytoplasm of the cells. And microtubules play a major role in forming the mitotic spindles. And we all know that mitotic spindles are used during the cell division. So they organize and separate the chromosomes during cell division. That is the uh, most important event of cell division process. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.